Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cleopatra, back at it again with another video. And for this week's video, I decided that I'd do a video all about self-esteem and self-confidence because being a teen, a lot of us go through a lot of self-esteem issues and sometimes we lack confidence. So I decided that I'd compile all my knowledge and all my tips together and I'd share them with you guys to help you guys out to show you how you can boost your confidence and how you can boost your self-esteem so I hope you guys are just as excited for today's video and I also hope you guys like my new background but without further ado let's get started so the first tip that I have for you guys is to be kind to yourself and again to not be so hard on yourself because I know there can be some people when they make a mistake they carry that mistake on them like forever and they're and they're always like Oh, because I did this, it's always my fault, it's always my fault. It's okay to make mistakes as long as you learn from them. And some ways that you guys can be kind to yourself is by treating yourself and again, forgiving you yourself. If you make a mistake, learn from the mistake and then forgive yourself and then move on. And some other ways you guys can treat yourself is by doing things that you love. For example, going out to the movies or watching your favorite TV show or eating your favorite type of food or even going shopping or even watching my videos if those are things that you guys enjoy. But overall, again, don't be so hard on yourself and give yourself some more love. Okay, so the second tip that I have for you guys is to understand that everybody makes mistakes. Cue the Hannah Montana song. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. But anyways, it's okay for you to make mistakes as long as you learn from them. And I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos are students just like me and we can both relate and understand the struggle of being a student. But for example, if your teacher tells you that you have a test on, like if your teacher tells you on Monday that you're going to have a test on Friday, majority of the class probably isn't going to study and majority of them are most likely going to cram and they're not going to prepare themselves properly for the test and I'm guilty of this. I have done this multiple times and sometimes I know I shouldn't do it but I still do it anyways and then when I don't study properly for my test and I only study maybe like one or two hours the night before my exam or test, I write the text the next day and then when I get the results back I feel really bad and I feel really sad um, because I didn't do very well on the test and then I look back and I'm like oh wait why didn't I do so good on this test why did I bomb and fail it and it's because I didn't manage my time and I didn't study properly and that was the mistake that I made so then the next time when I have an exam or a test I will most definitely take my time and I will plan out each day that I want to study and I will most definitely ask my teacher a bunch of questions so that I make sure that I know everything 110% so then the next time I can go into that testing center I will crush that exam and I will do my best and then when I look at my first exam and then my second exam I can compare and see where I went wrong and the mistakes that I made and then from there it can help you improve and become a better student and overall a better person and the thing that I love about this tip is you can transfer these tips into your everyday life and it just doesn't apply to school it can apply to work and it can apply to relationships and just life in general. Tip tattoo which also means three for those of you who don't understand Swahili and my next tip is to dress nicely plus groom yourself. If you're wondering why I'm looking down it's because I have a set of notes because I can't memorize all this stuff off by heart but by dress nicely I mean wear clothes that you're comfortable in and wear clothes that make you feel happy and also wear clothes that express yourself because if you're wearing something that you like it will definitely boost your self-esteem and you'll feel a lot more confident versus if you're wearing something that you don't like or something that you don't like as much and by grooming yourself I mean take care of yourself and by taking care of yourself it means like skincare and by skincare I mean making sure that you wash your face properly and I definitely understand that if you have acne prone skin or skin that has a lot of acne it's definitely something that can boost not boost it can definitely decrease your self-esteem I have suffered from acne as well and I know that it can make you feel really bad about yourself but again you also have to remember that acne doesn't stay around forever and it's definitely something that you can always get rid of and as long as you take yourself not take yourself as long as you take care of yourself and groom yourself it will definitely improve and boost your self-esteem tip ine which is to fake it till you make it 
And by this, I mean if you're somebody who isn't very confident, which I have definitely experienced that, and through doing YouTube videos, it has definitely boosted my confidence. Um, it's not necessarily where I want it to be yet, but you know, I'm definitely working my way up there. But by faking being confident, it's going to help you because when you fake it and you see the opportunities and how successful you will be by faking your confidence, it will eventually lead you to actually being confident and that confidence is something that you'll be able to carry out throughout your life. And by being confident, it will prevent you from being scared to do things that you really like or by trying new things. So my fifth and final tip is to believe in yourself. And I know this is a very simple tip and it's probably not something you think that I'd say in this video, but it's definitely something that we forget to do a lot because you need to remember that you are your worst critic and it's important for you to believe in yourself because if you have the faith and you have that mindset and you tell yourself that I can do it no matter what, you will definitely be able to accomplish it. And when you want to do something, you also have to remember to set realistic goals. For example, take into account like my YouTube channel as you guys are watching right here. When I started my YouTube channel, I didn't have a mindset that oh you know I'm gonna start making videos and in the first month or so I'm gonna hit a hundred subscribers and then by the end of the year I'm gonna have a million subscribers and you know I'm just gonna be this successful person if you have a mindset like that and you set unrealistic goals you're never gonna be able to accomplish anything and you need to remember that you need to take steps to reach your goals and as long as you tell yourself that you can do it and you don't give up you will definitely be able to accomplish and reach your goals. so in conclusion I guess you could say another thing that I, I want you guys to take out of this video is that um, when you want to build your self-esteem and you want to be a more self-confident person, it's not going to happen overnight. You can try and if you want to believe that, you can, but it's just not going to work that way. Again, building your self-esteem and self-confidence is something that's going to take a while and again, it's steps that you have to take and you also have to remember that Rome wasn't built in a day and your self-esteem obviously won't be built to the place that you want it to be in a day and if you try out these steps and you follow them over the course of a long period of time, you'll definitely be able to see a few changes and improvement in your self-confidence and your self-esteem overall. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I really hope you guys take some tips from this video and actually try applying them into your real life. I'm also going to try the same thing as well. But overall, don't forget to click that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because you guys, we are almost close to a hundred subscribers. So it'd be super cool if you guys could click that subscribe button and make it happen. But I, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Before you came around, I was heading for a small disaster.